So in my last video, I did talk about if Resident Evil 5 actually needed a remake or not, which I think we can all agree it doesn't necessarily need a remake, but we can 100% for sure say that we too definitely want one. Granted, probably after Resident Evil 4 remake, I'm pretty sure a lot of people do still think it needs a remake just because how amazing that game was. So I can only imagine what it can do for Resident Evil 5. So today is going to be a little bit different. Now I do want to talk about what kind of expansions should be made for the game to actually succeed or not to actually succeed, but in order for the game to feel better than the original. If you enjoy the content, make sure to like the video. And if you're new to the channel, welcome in and be sure to subscribe. Now let's begin the video. Resident Evil. So Resident Evil 5 naturally has way more action than Resident Evil 4 on its own. So in my personal opinion, I think it's okay to take Resident Evil 5 and basically just dial it to 1000, just kind of like, just kind of like how Resident Evil 4 did with its remake. So I just want to talk about some of the things that should be not improved on, but more expanded on what we already have for the original Resident Evil 5, basically. And no, I don't necessarily want anything removed except for one particular part that I'm sure a lot of people will agree with me on. And it's not even about the segment, but more on what you do on this segment itself. And also, we're going to do this by sections. We're going to start with number one. I don't necessarily know how many segments there are in total, but I will let you know if this is the last one or not. I might do at least five or six, depending. But let's start with number one. So first things first, let's talk about the melee system. Now the melee system is probably the second most important thing of what made Resident Evil 5 for Resident Evil 5. I feel like having some sort of expansion to that already should be a really good idea. For example, we should have the return of the knife combat exactly like Resident Evil 4, but I feel like a little bit more expansive, a little bit more Chris's style of knife play. We'd never necessarily see him do a lot of knife play in the Resident Evil series, maybe a little bit, but this is why I want to bring up the next point, and this is more of his brawling style. I want Chris Redfield to throw punches. I want Chris Redfield to just brawl versus zombies. I want him to be able to have some sort of protective gear. Maybe it's some sort of padding that he has on in order for it to kind of like act as though it was like the survival knife for Leon S. Kennedy and Resident Evil 4 Remake. Because as we all know, because Redfield is jacked up, so I feel like emphasizing on his combat with his fist too would be absolutely amazing, along with the knife in combat. Maybe combine some sort of knife and punch move, who knows. And also, different melee options. I feel like we can have some sort of option. I want to get into this point a little bit later. You guys will know exactly what I'm talking about, but I will bring this point up again. Maybe we can get some sort of custom move set or we can be able to pick up these or maybe learn some combos, have our kind of like our own sequences and our combos. Again, this game is naturally supposed to be a lot more action-y than Resident Evil 4, so it only makes sense for the remake to do the same thing. So I want there to be more melee options for Chris Redfield. You know, he's big, he's jacked, we want him to be able to use that. But the next point I want to bring is the cooperative with Sheva, or just the co-op in general. So just like the option for Chris Redfield, I want there to be more moves, more customizable options of what you can do with Sheva. For example, like choosable combo sets that you can probably equip to Sheva and Chris. You know, maybe you can have some sort of gunplay combo that you guys can do. For example, like more teamwork, such as Sheva holding a zombie down while you shoot. You know, I really wouldn't mind more team play options because the co-op is probably the one thing you think about when anyone talks about Resident Evil 5. It will always be the cooperative mode. That is number one. And I feel like that should obviously be so improved on and so much more ridiculous than it was before or not more ridiculous, but more emphasized, more expanded on. So being able to choose movesets with Sheva, maybe you'll have the option to do one special move together. For example, you have to beat this sort of chapter in with an S plus to get this sort of combo at the end there. As you progress, you unlock more movesets, kind of adding an RPG element to it, but not to that extent completely, but more customizable stuff for the cooperative and Chris's gameplay and Sheva's of course. So my third is the return of the merchant. Now, I don't know if you guys know this, but the merchant was supposed to have an appearance in Resident Evil 5 before he was for some reason cut out. No one knows why, probably because of story reasons, but the story is already ridiculous. So I don't see why they had to cut 
him out anyway, which made no sense to me. But I want to see the return of the merchant. And I'm talking about the same merchant from Resident Evil 4. So what I was saying earlier about having more customizable movesets, um, I want to be able to buy movesets from the merchant. Maybe he can give you like some sort of guide of to learn new movesets with Sheva, more cooperative moves maybe. For example, you can buy like this booklet from the merchant and from that booklet, you're able to learn new moves with Sheva. Maybe there's different tiers of this booklet, which gets more expensive and more expensive it gets the obviously more powerful the move is going to be for your characters. So something more customizable like that. And also weapon customization. Listen, Resident Evil 5, again, I'm going to probably keep bringing up this point, is way more action-y than Resident Evil 4 way more action -y. and i feel to me the gunplay is very important so i feel like some of the weapons or at least all the weapons should get some sort of modifier option for example like adding silencers adding muzzles for more damage grips for accuracy faster reloads now i know these are already stats to be improved on with the merchant already in resident evil 4 but i feel like having attachments will be a lot more personalized for your weapon a lot more than just having some stat increase especially when you have chris and Chevra who are literally expertise when it comes to weapons. So I feel like having a more customizable option with the merchant when it comes to your moveset, combos, your finishing combos, and your weapons. So my fourth point, a more expansive mercenaries mode. Now, what also made this game absolutely amazing was not only the main story mode, but the mercenaries. This game literally brought the mercenaries to the map. Granted, the mercenaries been there since Resident Evil 3 and 4, but Resident Evil 5 took the mercenaries mode and shot it to the moon, basically. I feel like the mercenaries mode should be expanded on, and I feel like it should be the best one yet. And what I mean by this is no more one or two players. I don't even want three players. Make it four players. Make it a four player co-op mercenaries mode or at least up to four players obviously the more players the more hordes and a perfect example of this would be um i don't know if you guys know this but i am a huge classic call of duty zombies fan and honestly i wish resident evil had some sort of similarity to call of duty zombies granted i already love the mercenaries mode but having many more options is always a good idea so having some sort of round based option in the mercenaries mode kind of like hot zombies did it you know having every 10 rounds have mr x come out of nowhere the 20th round have nemesis come out of nowhere you know things like that have fun events like that happen during the mercenaries mode have one round of liquors have one round of the dogs around of hunters i think it would be absolutely fun if the mercenaries would be super expanded on with online support and i honestly think if they were to do this it would be literally the best resident evil multiplayer online experience or multiplayer in general depending on what they do with it and my fifth and last point i want to talk about is characters i feel like some characters that should be expanded on is josh wesker and jill valentine let's talk about josh for a bit josh is essentially the person who trained sheva to the person she is today and i feel like he didn't really get enough recognition for it in the main game and i wish we had more time with him so i want josh to have some sort of segment of his own kind of like change his lore kind of like what they did with luis and expand it on him i want them to do the same thing with josh stone and my point with jill valentine applies pretty much the same thing i i wish we had more time with her like this is jill valentine do i really need to explain why we need more time with jill i don't necessarily think i have to i just want more time with her because it's jill <laughs> pretty simple she's a beloved character and she's part of the og crew and last but not least i want more time with wesker and this is because of what the remakes are essentially setting up for is for wesker to be the big baddie once again while i love the idea as an og fan i am okay with this 100 because i i know wesker i i've played literally all the games with him in it so i have no problem moving forward with wesker as the bad guy in the remake games again the only problem is the newer audience is not going to know exactly who the hell wesker is when it comes to the remake era resident evil 4 is literally the first game albert wesker appeared in and for him to be the main villain in 5 when he had a total history in resident evil 1 and resident evil code veronica you already saw him in resident evil 4 and now we're moving too quickly and we're moving into his end 
game, which is Resident Evil 5. I think if we're not going to get Resident, and this is out of, this is just hypothetical. If we're not getting Resident Evil 1 remake or Code Veronica remake, I want there to be some sort of explanation to his backstory. Because if he just comes and just basically goes in Resident Evil 5 with no context of his abilities, his goal, his purposes, then quite frankly, it'll be a shame because no one would actually care because no one had the time to spend enough time with the character to even know he's a threat in the first place and granted this remake wesker seems menacing as hell yeah guys these are basically my five points of what i want expanded on for resident evil 5 remake if there's something i've missed please please let me know in the comments but what do you guys think what exactly do you want expanded on on resident evil 5 could be anything from weapons the melee the cooperative mercenaries do you want a brand new mode let me know in the comments but as always i want you guys to have an amazing day stay safe stay healthy and i'll catch you guys in the next one and until then, peace.